Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing very, very well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Advanced Tools Game Pass in Obby Creator. Now I already have a video on this from a few years ago, but obviously it's slightly outdated now and I get a few people asking me like every week, I get one every couple of days, someone says how do I use the Advanced Tools Game Pass? So I figured I'll just make another video on it. I'll call it like 2022 Advanced Tools Game Pass or something. And yeah, I'll show you guys how to use it. So on my last video, what you would have done, you buy the Advanced Tools part and you head into Obby Creator, uh, the Advanced Tools Game Pass, and you head into Obby Creator. Previously, Advanced Tools used to be located in Settings. There used to be a little button here that said Advanced Tools and you'd click that and you'd go in and do all your Advanced Tools shenanigans. But now it's actually changed. So recently, well, at some point this year, I can't remember when, it was like towards the start of this year, I added this thing called Global Properties. Now, I'm going to hide myself because it's on the, it's right where my camera is. So have a look where the, my camera is. Let me hide me. Hold on. Here I am. All right. So up in properties over here. So there's this little globe icon, as you can see. If you go onto this globe icon, there's all of these different global properties. And these are all ones that you can use without a game pass to change stuff within your obby. So you can change the lighting. You can change... Uh, uh, people's walk speed and jump power and everything but the important note is that advanced tools is now here so click on this advanced tools section and here are all the advanced tools options just like they were previously in settings they were previously here now they're inside this uh, global property section so if you don't have the game pass it will tell you you need the game pass to continue but once you have the game pass you can change all the things inside your obby using advanced tools so for example i could change the gravity if i change it to 50 i'm going to be able to jump slightly higher if i change it to like as low as it goes i can <laughs> jump really high um yeah so you can change the time of day in your obby if you want which is pretty useful if you want to make like a nighttime obby you can add fog into your obby people sometimes do that as well and change the color of it yellow fog you can enable depth of field and sometimes people ask me what is depth of field well depth of field you will actually only see if your settings uh graphics quality is more than i think six i can't remember but if i turn this down and then i turn depth of field to like 20 you'll see nothing happens which i think is why people ask what is depth of field i have no idea what's going on make sure that your graphics quality are higher and then you'll immediately see what depth of field is so you can see it's this cool blurry effect in the background there and you can change the distance so maybe i want only the really far background to be blurry or maybe i want literally everything to be blurry right it creates this cool kind of blur effect so that's that then you've got lighting effect which you basically can make your obby black and white uh you can make it cut really really contrasty colors or you can make it kind of dark. I don't know why this is an option, but it is <laughs> dark, dark obby. Um, oh yeah, you can change about this floor. So at the moment, if I a normal player plays my obby, they fall through the floor, but you can click on, where was I? Floor can collide true. Uh, people can now walk on your floor. And to make it more obvious, you can also make the floor uh, visible so everyone can see the floor like this. And then you can also change the other stuff, like you can change the material of it. So there I'll make it uh, asphalt, that's not the best one, brick, there you go. And if I change the color as well, so there's your floor options. Let me just hide that. Oh, I don't like that color. <laughs> make it white again. Uh, okay, what was it on? I think it was on plastic. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can also change the sky, so you can make it so that you've got like this alien sunset going on if you wanted it. And there's tons of different options in here. There's one for like space. There's one uh, kind of looks like you're on Mars a little bit. There's one where it's just a... This one's really nice. I like this sky where it's like white and then it becomes blue. I actually really like that one. Yeah, there's loads of options. Mountains. Lots of different things you can do there. I'll keep it on default for now, but that's what you could do. Uh, celestial bodies. This basically is whether you want the sun and the moon to show. So you can turn them on and off if you want. There we go. And then finally, we've got clouds. So it doesn't really work with this skybox. If I enable it, you'll see it kind of doubles. So let me change it to that skybox I was talking about before, the blue skies, I think it's called. No, uh, deep blue sky. And then let me enable clouds. This one's better. 
So now as like this actual cloud object rather than being on the sky look that you can see they're moving. I don't know if you can see that they're kind of slow, but they are moving. Um, and you can also change the color of them so I can make them orange if, <laughs> if you wanted. And then you've got the cover, which basically, I mean, you can see when I click on that, it's changing. So if I wanted it like the whole sky, I put it to one. If I wanted none, I'd put it to zero and then anywhere in between. So 0.8 would be like quite a lot. Let me put this back to be like a light. Yeah, there we go. So that's what you can change. Let me keep it at like 0.6, just a little bit. And then the density, uh, I'm not 100% sure what that was. Let me. Oh, I see. So yeah, this is density one. So it's still in this 0.6 area, but it's really thick. And density 0.2, it's still in the same area, but it's you can kind of see through it, right? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, that's clouds. So yeah, there are the advanced tools options. Um, and they're inside global properties. And if at any point you want to change and reset them, you can just type in reset into this box. Boom, bam, bish. Everything goes back to normal. Easy peasy. Now that's advanced tools. And so that's where you can find them. So hopefully people won't be too confused at where they are. They used to be here, but now they're over here. That's annoying. Look at that. Wow. Um, yeah. Now quickly, the other two things that you can add with advanced tools. Put this back on. Hi. <laughs> Uh, the other two things that you can add with advanced tools are these two parts. So there's only two parts and I don't think I'll add any more, um, but you can just add down the advanced tools part and also the music part. So the music part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go into that, but basically you can, well, I won't, I won't show you, but I'll tell you. So basically you can add music into your obby and when someone touches this part, they'll, they'll hear the music. Now, an important note, this is due to a recent uh, Roblox change and this didn't used to be the case. But let me show you how to actually get an audio. All right, here I am inside the uh, Roblox web page. So if you want to add music to your obby, at the moment, there's no way to search music inside the game. Perhaps this is something that I'll look into in the future. But at the moment, if you want to add music due to a recent Roblox change, it sucks. Um, but you cannot play someone else's audio if it's over seven seconds inside your own game. So this is nothing to do with Obby Creator because Obby Creator is a building game. It really sucks. Um, basically means if you want to use someone else's song in Obby Creator, you can't. So there are workarounds on it. And if you if you look a bit, you'll find some ways. But what you can do is you can add sounds that are under seven seconds and you can also play any music from Roblox or from any of the Roblox endorsed brands. So they've got like Monster Cat songs and stuff. So let me show you how you find those. So head into uh, roblox.com slash develop, which I think is it's create up here. I don't know if it's called develop. Usually I've got some things that change my web page, but it's this button here anyway, roblox.com slash develop. Blah, blah, blah. Click on creator marketplace. It will take you to this whole other screen and then click on audio. And here is a lot of audio and you can choose between sound effects and music. So if I click on music now, an important note here is these are, oh, okay. These are actually all Roblox endorsed. It looks like yes, Roblox and Parry grip uh, is the guy that did raining tacos. You can add all of these into your obby. So I'll just choose a uh, tropical house music. All right. How you would do this is you'd click get audio. No, you wouldn't. I've never actually done it this way. So you don't do that. You click more info. Ah, there we go. <laughs> uh, you click more info and then you head up here into the URL and you see this little number. You copy and paste that. I'm using control C and then you open up your game again and you basically just paste this into there. Boom. And then when I step on this, hopefully I can't actually hear the audio, but hopefully when I step on this, hopefully it's playing some dance music. Uh, let me leave my obby and let me come back in so that hopefully it resets. Um, but yeah, that's how you can use the music part. And then you've also got the advanced tools part here, which um, basically all of those settings that I just showed you. Hold on, I'm in the way, aren't I? I just realized I was in the way for the music part. I'm very sorry. Uh, all of the settings I just showed you in here in advanced tools, you can change all of these inside one of these parts. So basically select the part and head into your part options here, like normal. Click on behavior. I'll get rid of that one. And then basically you could change something. So you know, I can make it so that if I step on this, the skybox changes to the space one, right? So if someone's playing your obby and they come into a space area, it becomes space. 
right? And when they are outside of your army, it's normal. When they come in, it's normal. And then when they step on this, it becomes space. So yeah, that's the advanced tools part. So yeah, no longer in settings and you can grab it inside properties. I hope that helped and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like and make sure you like Obby Creator as well. If you'd enjoy the game, that really helps uh, way more than you think it does. So awesome. Bye.